Okay, so Mark, give us an update on uh, the most recent goings on of. Okay, so there's there's uh, the the as we uh, move forward towards the 10 year anniversary of Katrina, uh, there's there's good news and then there's some not <laughs> other so good other good news, news. <laughs> other news. Okay, <laughs> uh, I mean the good news is that that the levee system around New Orleans is dramatically improved. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a hundred year quote hundred year protection that protects us from a one percent storm. Storm that has a one percent chance of occurring in any year, so we are protected better than we ever have been before. Um, that's one. The, as uh, that's that's the good part. Uh, the bad part. The bad part is that uh, um, that's not enough protection for the city of New Orleans. That we're a major urban center, uh, and the reality is. But that's what the Netherlands use for their cows. So isn't that a good? Well. Enough? <laughs> no, actually, the Netherlands used 10,000 years for their cows, and okay. that's, that's what the problem is, is that, uh, you know, the, the, the potential loss for the city of New Orleans is somewhere between 70 and $140 billion, and that's Army Corps of Engineers saying it. Um, uh, the reality is that even for a 500-year flood uh, uh, event, a 500-year hurricane, if it were to directly hit the city, it would overtop everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it would only have five feet of water in the city. But that's still five feet of water. But that's not what the real problem is. The real problem is that there's a bigger storm out there and everybody mm -hmm. knows it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the engineering community is very much aware that, that as we move forward, we've got to deal with the potential of larger storms. They mm -hmm. are not as often, uh, they don't, occur you know in a generation or two mm -hmm. generations but if you're not ready for them uh, it, it will cost and it will not just cost the New Orleans area as Katrina showed or as Sandy showed uh, major events like this affect the entire United States mm -hmm. for quite a while and uh, so that's a problem so how do we do that well there are uh, you know, two different ways. One is the Coastal Restoration Program, and the mm -hmm. BP oil spill will help that a bit in terms of money being thrown from, uh, from the fines into that process and probably from the natural resource damage assessment as well. Um, but the federal government's going to have to wake up and say, well, we need to put some money into that as well. And then there's the question of what do you do about the levy system? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a need to review how to build higher levees without um, w without the potential effects that that can cause. In the New Orleans area, you're growing, you're, you're you're trying to grow the size of those facilities on top of land that sinks rather rapidly when right. you put weight on it. Right. So you got to figure out new ways of doing things. Um, we'll see if it works. All right. So so but so positives, but lots of challenges still. Challenge, significant in front of challenges. Us. Significant right. challenges. All right. Well, great. Well, thanks, Mark.